Hi everyone, it's Katie. Today I have a fun video for you, well if you like recipes. I am participating in the YouTube Mobby Meetup Croctober collab. So every day this month, one or two or even some days three members of the YouTube Mommy Meetup group on Facebook will be sharing a crock pot slow cooker recipe with you. Uh, I chose to do butternut squash soup. Uh, I'd never done it in the crock pot before, so it was originally going to be like a pin test type video. But I looked at all the different pins that I had and I really didn't like any of them as much as my own recipe, so I combined mine with two uh, recipes I found on Pinterest and switched up some stuff and I really like how it turned out. It's delicious. I really hope you like the recipe. Let me know if you make it. Be sure to check out the other participants in the collab. Uh, there'll be a playlist in the description box below. Here's what you're going to need for the butternut squash soup. Two cups of chicken stock. You can use um, vegetable stock if you want to make this a vegetarian soup. I like this better than bouillon um, base. They have beef, vegetable, chicken, I don't know, I just like that in place of bouillon cubes. This is one medium, about two pound butternut squash. You're going to peel it, seed it, and then dice it up. One medium onion you're going to dice. I normally use bacon fat in my regular butternut squash soup recipe, but I'm trying this one without. So I'm using butter instead, so about a tablespoon of butter to fry the onion in. And then we have a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a pinch of marjoram, a half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, a pinch of cayenne. I would do more cayenne, but Aurora's going to have the soup, so I do just a little bit. And then um, a pinch of nutmeg. Here I'm just sauteing the onion. It doesn't have to be a uniform dice because we're going to puree the soup in the end but I just want to soften it up until it's translucent with a little bit of color. I'd say like about five minutes. Okay, so we're going to put our chopped butternut squash and our salt and spices. Our sauteed onion and butter. two cups of chicken stock all in there and give it a stir get all the spices incorporated then we're going to cook that on high for four hours or if you want it to go all day you can cook it on low for six to eight hours so I've cooked it for Let's see, I did three and a half on high, and then I checked it, and it was really boiling, so I switched it to low for the last half hour, but what you want is your squash to be squishy like that, mashable. And then now I'm going to stir in, this is an ingredient I didn't show earlier, because I didn't have it. <laughs> it's a half a cup of heavy cream. So just pour that in, and it's still bubbling, so that's gonna heat up nicely. And um, my slow cooker is still on low. Woo! Fogging up. Okay, so I stirred that. I'm going to unplug my slow cooker and I'm going to puree that with my ancient immersion blender. And I'll show you the finished product in a minute. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can take this out in two or three batches and blend it, um, puree it in your blender. And then either return it to the crock pot or serve it right up. Uh, into like a soup terrine or whatever and then have it with some crusty bread All right, so here we have the finished product um, I might add a little bit of hot chicken stock just to loosen it up a little bit more Although I kind of like it to be really thick because I dip bread in it and whatnot so um, I Tasted it and it is fantastic. We'll see how uh, my husband likes it. I'm sure he will and uh, the true, t true test will be seeing if uh, my little girl likes it. Be sure to check out tomorrow's Crocktober 
participant uh, and all the other participants in the list uh, in the description box below. All right, see you all in the next video. Bye.